I think, and, and this is like this, whether you're in full French immersion, it doesn't matter. I think the, the, the hardest part is just starting. It can be frustrating at first. I remember being, even as a kid, I remember being really frustrated because the first couple months of school, I had no idea what was going on. But uh, <laughs> um, you learn, it, it takes some time. And I think progressively, it became easier. It was a really great school. I'm, uh, I'm happy I went there. I was almost a, it was a small, there's almost a sense of community in this. And it's kind of interesting in a way. I, I had about 20, 25 kids in that class. And now, 14 years later, I'd still say I'm, about, I'm friends with about 15 of them. And there's, I'd say, about five, six of them that I'm still best friends with. So it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's hard to believe how 14 years can go by and still you maintain that kind of relationship. <laughs> I work at uh, the Fortress of Lewisburg, and uh, I'm working in the restaurant. So it's a really great job. I get to practice my French. I'd say approximately 50% of my customers are in French. They oftentimes try to get me the French customers because uh, they know I'm comfortable with that. I don't think I would have been able to obtain this job had I not had the French background. And at the same time, I'm still not, not I may not necessarily be progressing in French, but at the same time, I'm still maintaining it, which is very important to me because it's very easy to lose. I have a couple really good friends from Antoine Lacadie that I still, I, I'm still close up to this day. And when you get frustrated, um, it does pay off in the end. It does uh, in terms, not only in terms of employment, but uh, socially, it's very beneficial. And overall, it really is worth the hard work. Hello, my name is Connor McIntosh. I'm a student at Cape Breton University, and I went to Saint-Scolaire et toi de l'Acadie.